Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, the Laplace Transform. The definition of the Laplace Transform of a function f of t is take the function f of t and multiply by e to the minus st and integrate from 0 to infinity. s must be greater than 0 so that the exponential here behaves itself as t slides off to infinity. This is notation indicating Laplace Transform of the function f of t this definition is implied and the answer is capital F of S. Notice that this S is a variable over here on the left side after you do the integration. Well, where does this come from? I'm inspired by Professor Maddock where there's a video I have seen on YouTube and this comes from a differential equations course at MIT and we're going to look at a power series as a starting point and see how we may arrive at the Laplace transform. So we start here with the power series calling the function on the left capital A of X since we have little a over here on the right. We're going to use this trick in a second where we replace X with E to the uh, natural log X up there. Well before we do that let's note that to go to a continuous situation we set this up where delta n is 1 since delta n on the right here can be inserted there since you go n equals 0, 1, 2, 3 the delta n the change in n is 1 since these are basically non-negative integers in sequence and then to go to a continuous situation we use my trick I talked about earlier change delta to D, rip off the index N and replace it with a continuous variable, see as an argument for a function, and change the summation sign into a snake. And we have done that. Now at this point, we notice that it'd be nice to have the friendlier E as the base instead of some X here. So here's where we use this trick. X is equal to E, where the exponent is the natural log of X. If you take the natural log of both sides, you get the natural log of X over here, and the natural log of X comes down, multiplying the natural log of E, which is 1. So this is a true statement. So we substitute that in the two places, and then we see immediately that to encourage our integral to be finite, we would like to have the natural log of x be restricted to negative values. Now it's true that this function here will need to have some conditions and take some of the responsibility not, not to have an integral that blows up, but at least for the definition of the Laplace transfer, which this involves here, this uh, factor, let's do the best we can to avoid infinities. So we come to the nice graph of natural log of x, and you see the natural log of x, y, is going to be a negative when the x is between 0 and 1. If you look at the natural log of x and take x to be 1, the natural log of 1 is 0. And that means if you take e and take it to the 0th power, e to the 0th power, you're going to get 1. Uh, what about something like a uh, fraction? We'll see if you have a fraction like you had e to the negative 1 power. So e to the negative 1, so if x is e to the negative 1, then the natural log of that is negative 1. So here you have then 1 over e. So this would be your 1 over e for x. So we want the natural log of x to be negative, and by introducing the variable s, which is the negative natural log of x, then the s variable will be greater than 0. So we make that nice uh, switch. And then here you simply replace the natural log of x with minus s and minus s and we're getting closer and closer to looking like the Laplace transform. Well we have two things here that look a little strange so far and this is 
the argument over here. Oh, let's just make that capital F of S, some capital F function of S looks nicer. And since n is usually used for integers, let's replace the n with t in the three places. And then finally, since this is capital F, let's make this little f so it looks cute. And we do that, and voila, look at that. That is the Laplace transform, s of course being greater than zero. We've done it.